Well, millennials are often portrayed as a generation that's self-absorbed, lacking in worth ethic, but that description could not be farther from the truth. Joining us in the Google Hangout, we've got Zach Coplin, who started this activism at age 14, fighting against the teaching of creationism in public schools in his home state of Louisiana. Isn't it a theory? And a theory is a the theory. best you get in science. Where I can say, I expect a fossil to be in this layer of rock, and I can go dig in that layer of rock right. and find it. So it's testable, it's right. naturalistic, um, it's falsifiable. There are specific conditions that if proven, it'd be false. So like, if we found bunny fossils in the wrong layer of rock, that would disprove evolution, but we haven't. Tell us about, about this journey, about how it is that at such a young age, you really t decided to take this fight on. So back when I was 14, my state passed creationism law, and I couldn't believe it at the time. I, it's two, it was 2008, and the Scopes trial was nearly 100 years ago, um, and we had a brown-educated biology major for a governor, and he's also a Rhodes Scholar. So I said, there is no way this is going to pass. There's no way Governor Jindal's going to sign it. And I just couldn't believe it. And then it passed, and Governor Jindal signed it. And so at that time, I was, I was furious. It represented everything that might be embarrassing about my state to me. And so... At 14, I didn't really realize I could speak out and lead a, a repeal effort like I would eventually want to do. And so I was stuck to sort of my little rebellion, writing a school research paper about it, talking to my friends about why this law is bad. By the time I turned 16, was going to become a senior in high school, I realized no one is standing up against this law and someone has to do it. And so for my senior project to graduate from high school, I actually got a repeal bill and the support of among other 78 Nobel laureate scientists to back this uh, repeal effort. So you sounds like your little effort, uh, you know, was paying off despite maybe uh, some of the, you know, some of the complications that you had to try to deal with <laughs> at such a young age. Yeah, like, I guess the complications, you mean some Louisiana state senators? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Zach, I've got a question for you. What were your friends thinking when you were going about and getting this this movement started, did they get on board? Did they feel like you were doing something as extraordinary as you were? Um, luckily, most of my friends were pretty much in support of what I was doing. I went to a school that taught good science, and they, they were all behind me. Like, and, and so I was lucky in that regard. Um, although, if I were in other parts of the state, maybe that had been taught creationism, and I had done this, my friends wouldn't have been as supportive. Being naturally shy, did you find that speaking out on behalf of a cause helped motivate you or helped bring you courage? That actually was the key to everything, which is I wouldn't, it's much harder for me to say speak in front of my peers about a book report I did than about a cause I believe in 100%. That's so wonderful.